welcome to trinod chemistry classes in this video i am going to discuss about the intermediate first year chemistry topic acid bases so e acids bases anedi chemical equilibrium acids bases ane chapter lo ni oka support chemical equilibrium oka topic and acid bases anedi oka topic so ee video lo manam acid bases ki sambandhinchinatuvanti konni vishayalu chodabothunnam so this is my first video in this concept of acid bases thank you for watching trinath chemistry classes please like the video share and subscribe the channel so manaki ee acids bases and salts ivi teesukunte kanaka nature ko chaala wide ga manaku wider spread ayyamanta right for example manaki digestive system teesukunte kanaka ivi దానికి ప్రధాన రీజన్ ఎవరంటే హెస్సియల్ హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ ఎవరంట్ హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ది ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ది గ్యాస్ట్రిక్ జ్యూస్ గ్యాస్ట్రిక్ జ్యూస్ ఈ సిక్రియేటెడ్ బై ది సో హైడ్రోక్లోరిక్ యాసిడ్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ది గ్యాస్ట్రిక్ జ్యూస్ ఈజ్ సిక్రియేటెడ్ బై ది lining of our stomach in a significant amount around 1.2 liters to 1.5 liters so these acid bases salts are widely spread in our nature widely we are occurring occurring in nature so this is the hcl which is produced in the which is produced in the digestive system around 1.2 liters to 1.5 liters of hcl is producing in our stomach in daily life similarly if you take acetic acid acetic acid which is present in vinegar which is present in vinegar so is a, which is present in acetic acid is known to be known to be main constituent of vinegar similarly lemon contains lemon contains citric acid similarly oranges oranges contains asboric acid asboric acid similarly uh, if you take tamarind syrup tamarind so the, the acid present in the tamarind is tartaric acid tartaric acid so uh, what we can observe is in nature various acids are widely spread various acids are widely spread similarly base of so salts are formed by the formed by the neutralization reaction of acids and bases so how to recognize these acids and bases how to differentiate how to differentiate these acids and bases we know that the acids are so to taste acids are so to taste so to taste and the, the term blue litmus to blue litmus to red color so if we dip a blue litmus paper in uh, acid which turns to red and uh, they liberate hydrogen gas when treated with nerves when treated with nerves so these are the some characteristics of acids acids are sour to taste they turn blue litmus to red and they liberate hydrogen gas when treated with metals similarly bases means so these are better to taste and uh, soapy to touch soapy to touch and then they turn red litmus to red litmus to blue so if you dip red litmus paper in bases they turn to blue litmus paper they turn to blue litmus paper right these are the some characteristics of acids and bases and uh, we know that salts are formed by the neutralization of acids and bases so in this video mainly i am going to discuss about various theories regarding this acids and bases various theories regarding this acids and bases so uh, every time it is not possible to check or taste uh, the acid or base for example uh, all acids we cannot touch or we cannot taste so that's why theoretically to predict whether a given substance is acid or base 
given substances acid or base there are several theories are there in this video i am going to discuss about the arrhenius theory of acids and bases arrhenius theory of acids and bases arrhenius theory of acids and bases so according to this arrhenius theory acids are substances acids are substances acids are substances that dissociate that dissociate in water dissociate in water to give to give hydrogen ions hydrogen ions hydrogen ions hydrogen ions acids or substances that dissociate in water to give hydrogen ion are hydronium ions hydronium ions h3o plus is called hydronium both h plus is a bare proton whereas h3o plus is it is formed by the when h2o and h plus when they are combined to a coordinate covalent bond h3o plus ion is formed this one we are calling it as the hydronium ion so as it are substances that dissociate in water to give hydrogen ions hydrogen ions or hydronium ions hydronium ions are called acids similarly bases bases are substances bases are substances that dissociate in water that dissociate in water to give hydroxyl ions hydroxyl oh minus ions oh minus ions are called are called bases are called bases so according to this arrhenius theory acids or substances that dissociate in water to give hydronium ions or hydrogen ions similarly bases or substances that dissociate in water to give hydroxyl ions or we can say that the substances which increase the which increase the hydronium ion concentration which increase the hydronium ion concentration in water hydronium ion concentration in water are called hydronium ion concentration in water are called acids which increase the hydroxyl ion concentration in water are called are called bases are called bases here uh, the strength of acids and bases the strength of acids and bases the strength means which one is which one is strong acid which one is weak acid those acids which increase the which give more number of hydronium ions are called strong acids or the the one which gives less number of hydronium ions or hydrogen ions when compared to other one is called weak acid similarly the substance which gives which gives more number of hydroxyl ions more number of hydroxyl ions is called is called strong base the one which gives less number of hydroxyl ions is called weak base is called weak base so this is regarding uh, arrhenius theory so acid are the substances that dissociate in water to give hydronium ions are the substances which increase this the hydronium ion concentration when dissolved in water are called acids similarly the ones which dissociate in water to give hydroxyl ions or which increase the concentration of hydroxyl ions are called bases so here we have discussed about strong acid strong base weak acid weak base so suppose for example if two acids a b and if we have taken a gives 10 number of hydronium ions whereas b gives only one hydronium ion so then we can say that a is a strong acid and b is a weak acid b is a weak acid similarly base for bases also this is the, the arrhenius acid base arrhenius acid base now what are the limitations in this arrhenius acid base theory so this arrhenius acid base theory is mainly applicable to aqueous solutions
mainly applicable to aqueous solutions. So if we use the aqueous solution, we will see here, what is the aqueous solution? If we use water as the solvent, then the solutions are called aqueous solution. The solutions are called aqueous solution. The theory is mainly applicable to aqueous solutions. If, if this theory is not applicable, if we use any other solvent other than water. And the second one is, it fails to explain the basic nature of ammonia. Basic nature of ammonia. So if we see, see ammonia is acting as a base, but it, uh, it doesn't give H plus ions, which doesn't give H plus ions when dissolved in water. But still it is acting as a, it's not giving hydroxyl ions when dissolved in water. As per the basic, uh, as per as it doesn't contain any OH minus ions. So it failed to explain the basic nature of substances like ammonia. It failed to explain the basic nature of substances like ammonia. And the third one is, it also failed to explain the acidic nature of certain substances like BF3, AlCl3. All these are electron deficient compounds. Electron deficient compounds. So electron deficient compound means they have less number of electrons for writing the conventional Lewis structure. For example, if you take BF3, so we know that it's the Lewis structure. Similarly, if you take the uh, Lewis structure of BF3, it has only uh, six electrons. Actually, as per the conventional Lewis structure, it should have eight electrons. Even though uh, this, the, 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 this compound is having only six electrons around the central atom. So that's why these are compounds are called electron deficient compounds. It failed to explain the uh, acidic nature of compounds like substances like BF3, AlCl3 and so on. So this is the regarding arrhenius acid base theory. Thank you for watching Tranath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.